hello everyone welcome back from top the wall my name is mason up and i have another deck for you on 30 days of lands this is the 28th day not sure uh i know my beard's getting a little bit longer finally from when i shaved uh we are we're just gonna go for i'm gonna play all of the lands that i think are sweet <laughs> along with a bunch of bounce lands and we do have eight of them. We have uh, four Grohl Turf and four Golgari Bot Farm. Uh, these are to keep making our land drops go really big in mana. Now, this is not the complete finished list for what will be Rainbow Lands, but I'm going to take a bunch of the mechanics that I like uh, from testing out lands and put a bunch of them together and, and hopefully get just the best ones together into one deck and see how things go. Uh, the lands that we're using are the Cave of Temptations, uh, the Deserts, Haunted Fengraf, Colony Heart Garden, Quicksand, Sejuri Steep, Step, Sejuri's Step, I forgot about that, <laughs> go with either or, Survivor's Encampment, and a Bajooka Bog. So these lands together with Scare Tiller are pretty awesome. Uh, they can actually help us win the game, they can get back a creature, they can do a lot of stuff. Uh, they can also be removal. They can give us protection. They can do a lot. And these bounce lands also help recycle those abilities. Uh, I'm willing to add the Arcane Spyglass in a second. I just kind of want to try things like this and see how they go. Now, I know we need colors. We need we need more color. To be rainbow, you're probably going to need Prophetic Prism. You just That's just a necessity. Bonner's Ornament is also good color fixing. I'm tempted to go up to the fourth Bonner's Ornament because of how good it is. Uh, and forego a... An arcane spyglass because arcane spyglass is slow but it does it is another way of recycling these etbs uh in combination with scare tiller the colony heart swarm is actually good edict protection using crop rotation it's just one mana counter an edict basically like i sacrifice a zero one to it seems good uh or let you block and save yourself lethal damage uh the scare tiller is a way to get back these lands and get a lot of synergy out of them we we do have a few we do have some other win conditions we have the underworld rage hound and we have two voracious typhons both escape creatures that can get rid of cards in a graveyard that we're not using and keep beating down on our opponent uh we have the reap and sows and the crop rotations to find the lands that we need in the matchup that we need them and start doing things that we want uh the fiery cannonades are for wrathing way all the small creatures Hiss and boo, kill all the small creatures. We don't need Stompy up in our business, so that's what the Fiery Candidate is for. We have the fourth one on the side. Uh, we have the Rain Shaper. The Rain Shaper is pretty dope. Uh, turns out, holding up three mana to give something Shroud at all times is a very good deterrent <laughs> against your opponent's removal. It's it's a little bit better than a counter spell. Uh, if you get, I mean, it's it doesn't cost you a card. It does not cost you a card, which is awesome. And you do get to make extra land drops, so it's another way of recycling Bajooka Bog and the Step. Now, these Land of War Scouts, in the last time that I played Bant, I could return uh, a land like the Step back to my hand using this or another creature like it, and then use the Scout to replay the land and protect the creature. <laughs> so now we have multiple forms of protection for Scare Tiller and the Bracious Typhons when we play them for 7, so they're re everything's really hard to kill and really annoying to get rid of, which is just exciting. <laughs> Being a nuisance to the opponent is always exciting. We have the three cast downs. Uh, they looked good. The one chainers is nice. Uh, we have an abrade to fight opposing Bonders ornaments and get rid of annoying artifacts. Uh, the Faithless Lootings are great cards to help us get some card advantage, throw the Typhons in the, in the yard and try to recur them for larger. To make them larger but also uh find the cards that we need put like lands into the graveyard that we might not need or that we want to recur with scare teller instead get a little bit more value that way um the arboreal grazer is good acceleration along with the lantern War scout uh the dark steel pendant is good card selection so that is the deck uh except for the sideboard I forgot to mention uh we have standard bears we have the fiery cannonade the fourth one on the side to fight more of the small creature decks Pyroblast for blue, Gorilla Shaman for affinity, Return to Nature for Bogles and affinity, Reverend Silence for Bogles specifically, Weather the Storm for burn, and Scattershot Archer for delvers and, well, not delvers, uh, fairy decks. Uh, you know, the fairy decks have gotten weaker right now, so 
I'm gonna cut one of those and I'm gonna go with Hydro Blast. I feel like they have gotten weaker, so I'm just I'm just gonna go with Hydro Blast. That's fine. Alright, and we'll go ahead and get into a match. See how things go. Is there a cab waiting for us? Oh, there's no There's no Oh man, there's no uh There's no cab waiting for us. Oh darn. That's awesome. I forgot I, I forgot I poured myself a drink an hour ago. <laughs> and I found it just waiting for me casually by my desk. That's good. Uh, I would love to play first. We'll say hi. We'll mulligan this. That is. We will not mulligan this. I have several lands. Typhon, crop rotation. I will keep this. I, oh man, I really want to just like put the step to the bottom, but I want the land too. Uh, I'm going to redraw, mm. put the step to the bottom to make crop rotation better. That's the only reason why. Colony Heart Garden. That's right. That's right. I'm Bogles. <laughs> uh, the only deck that plays Colony Heart Garden besides us is Bogles. That's right. You get scared, son. <laughs> you get worried. <laughs> There's hexproof creatures coming for you. Oh no, <laughs> another Bogles deck. <laughs> oh, it's actual Bogles. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Well, prophetic prism. Find a land, please. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm gonna do this. Good luck. <laughs> I hope that they looked at that and uh, stopped for a second and had to really think about it. <laughs> what what does this one one implicate? Zero one implication. Uh, all right. Too bad no boreal grazer. Um, couldn't couldn't get a boreal grazer to work. I should have kept the step. I really should have. Now I'm regretting. Oh yeah, there it is. There's that thing that I didn't want to happen that's happening. Ah, good, good. You pay one green, is that Rancor? Nothing. Oh, they use it for nothing. Okay. Uh, Colony Heart Garden might get sacrificed here to get a Bounce Land, to get Grawl, and then Fiery Cannonade. Uh, I still have to wait till their turn. I, I still have to wait till my next turn, so... I guess we're going to Boil Grazer, put uh, this down... And then still have green mana up with crop rotation. That'll that'll be fine. No, I don't have lands. They already know that I don't have lands. Cheyenne lands in a lands deck. This is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, this is good. They don't have another land, it looks like. Even if they play Ethereal Armor, that's only a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, wait, no, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, gosh. It's too big. Oh, yeah, that's too big. Oh, that's too big. Oh, that's too big. Oh, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I might have to I might have to concede. I think I have to concede. Oh, gosh. Fire oh man. Well, this abrade is not gonna do much for me, and neither are these cast downs. But these standard bearers and this this reverent silence might be pretty good. Uh Reap and So looking not so great. 
you're willing to cut these reaping sows for these return to natures? I'd rather have those. Um, these reaping sows could be nice later to blow up their lands, but at that point, they've already, they're already killing us. I don't want to deal with that. Um, if we're at the point where we can cast a reap and sow and blow up one of their lands, it, there's a good chance that they already have a bogle that's a 5-5. Five five. And killing one land is not going to do enough. So we shall be killing them in a different way. I would like to play first. I have to watch out for gut shot, unfortunately. Um, is there something going on here that I need to know about? Oh gosh. Um, no sideboard cards. Uh, it's kind of slow. Well, I get some redraws and a stry. Nah. Uh, keep. I didn't get my sideboard card that I wanted, but. We'll Cancel that. We'll cut the uh, prophetic prism. Uh, it's fine. Always a fast game against Bogles. I have quicksand. Yes. Yes. Fear me. I have turn three fiery cannonade. I hope that's fast enough. Oh, I hope that's fast enough. Abundant growth. Sure. Might not be fast enough. sand all right we do have crop rotation to make reverence silence good um now now that i have that i think i can let them play out some of their some of the cards attack me i'm willing to let them commit their hand to the board and then uh go for crop rotation reverence silence i think that might be fine we'll we'll go ahead and uh i think do that I'm not at any danger of dying yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just... Let me just check something. Did I remove all the forest from this deck? Oh god, no! What have I done? Oh wait, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody, calm down. It's fine. I just realized this is still four mana. It's all right. It's all all right. Everything is fine. We have four mana. Gosh. Oh, that could have been such a bad blunder. That could have been terrible. Oh, fire. Okay, yeah, fiery cannonade. Do do it for me. Desert. I think we can put you on top, right? I kind of like what's happening right now. Am I tempted to just fire a cannonade on their turn? I think I'm just tempted to fire a cannonade on their turn. If we can do that. And scry? Sure.
They have no idea about fire cannonade. They don't know what's happening. So listen, this is all fine. This is what we want. <laughs> I promise this is what we want. And also, did I bring in the fourth fiery cannonade? I did! I'm good! I'm good. It's all good. Everything is good. I think I'm supposed to, uh... I think I'm supposed to fire a cannonade here. Actually, they're not playing out anything. I think these are... I think they don't... They might not have a lot of, uh... A lot of anything. Right? They don't have a lot of anything going on. They would have tried to at least play one small enchantment, like a Rancor or something. Put you bot. I think we'll go for... Prophetic Prism. And they're flooding right now too? Okay. Um, let's see. This only gives it plus one, plus one to trample. Okay, that's weird. I didn't know to know that. But thank you for telling me that MTGO sucks. I'm glad. I think I'm just going to go ahead and fire a candidate now. A 3 for 1 is, is fine. A 3 for 1 is fine. Uh, I'll take the 3 for 1. Okay. Yeah, they're holding back one creature. I expected that they're not playing to their fullest. Uh, we will... I think just go ahead... Green will play, uh, hey, click. Play Lantern Wars Scout. Play Gogori Rock Park. Pick up. Quick Sand. Pass the turn. We have crop rotation. Uh, it's not a lot. We do have Reverent Silence. Coming up soon. As long as they're not, they're, they don't have a high enchantment count. They can't just ambush us and kill us in one go. All right, that helps. That is that is help. That is very helpful. Land. They are flooding. They are flooding bad. That flood will break at some point. Yeah, can't uh, can't target anything. Figured. Put to bottom. Voracious Typhon. Now, you are a card that I can play. I would very much like... Hold on, wait. If you put green, we'll still clear that. We'll play Voracious Typhon. We'll pick up the desert using Rot Farm. It's a 4-4. Four, four. We can use Lanowar Scout to replay another land. As long as they're not playing Armageddon, I think we're good. Right? I don't think this guy's going to be blocking anytime soon. We'll put this desert into play. We'll pass the turn. Pretend like maybe we have something going on. 
<laughs> we don't. I think we'll have the mana next turn to... Sac yeah, we'll have the mana available next turn to sacrifice the cave. Uh, this is another... Okay. That's a card. One, two, three... I'm down to 14. Uh, I have to piece together a little bit more damage before they can kill me next turn. Uh, if they have it. Scare Tiller. Um. I think I need to honestly put you to the bottom. Um, I just need some interaction here. We'll stop on my upkeep. Do it again. Um, that is a really good card, but I'll take it. I'll just take it because it can redraw me some stuff in a second. I'm going to go ahead and get in. Now, I could... They only have two cards in hand. Last turn, do they play a land? for that cartouche where's the cartouche yeah they play planes okay so they are they are flooding out a lot we'll we'll go ahead and play bonders ornament i think now is the time to destroy all the enchantments and really set them back there's a good chance that if they're playing ancestral Mask. They play Ancestral Mask. This thing becomes... Uh, what is it? Plus, they get plus 6, plus 6, and becomes an 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, Alright. Or they play out uh, some combination. I think that they're, they're holding back some cards. We might wait a second. I'm not dead yet, right? I'm going to hope I'm not dead. I'm gonna hold this thing back. Um, I'm at 14. There's a good chance that they're not gonna kill me, even with ancestral mask. They need double mask, I think. Or, oh yeah, there's Ramther. Crap. Ancestral Mask. Alright, yeah, that's what the thing I was holding back. That they were holding back for. Um, it's only nine. Oh, I hope... Wait, wait. I can use crop rotation to negate a ram through. Let me just look up ram through real quick. Uh, make sure that ram through is... Not something I need to be afraid of. Come on, let's see Bogles. Ramp through, is that an instant? It is an instant, alright. Crop rotation up forever? Uh... Yeah, we'll use this. Scry. Oh yeah, we're going to put you on top. We're going to go ahead and draw. We'll go ahead and we will cast that silence. It's not a sorcery. It's not a sorcery. You live with this.
we'll go ahead and attack and maybe they block with the token and that will give us the chance to uh, start using edicts or not I'm just hoping that I can force them into combat of some kind and uh, get rid of one of these then I can double chainers Okay, they attack me for one. All right, my, my clock is faster. Hopefully. They don't have an enchantment. That's for sure. Use this. Ah, uh, yeah, put that on top for now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that. Play Scare Tiller. So likely gonna let this thing go. I'll attack with both of these. Threatening seven. They're probably gonna start deciding to block. And then I can chainers one. Threaten to flashback chainers again. Oh yes. Let me have it. Let me have the win. Okay, there's one block. That's what I want. They have to give up this. It's left with that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we just need to dodge one big enchantment. Like Armadillo Cloak. It's literally just Armadillo Cloak. That's the only thing we... That's the only thing we feared. Armadillo Cloak. And it looks like we dodged it. Aww. Aww. This little guy. He's getting in the way. Dang it. Well, no arm Armadillo Cloak. All right. I will threaten your life again. Excuse me. Uh, scribe before I draw. I'll put you to bot. We'll go ahead, uh, go to draw. Fire a cannonade. Okay, let's just see how this goes. Is that it? Oh, GG. Give me the lethals. Oh, not close. Not lethal yet. Uh, <laughs> almost. I think we're good to uh, just draw a card here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should have played this. <laughs> yeah, no. I, uh, I forgot to play my land. Oops. Oh! Damn, I don't have enough time before work to finish this. Um, listen, we're going to play this. But in the next few minutes, I have to physically get up from this chair and I have to leave. Damn it all. I'm glad this worked out. I'd like to see how Standard Bear interacts with this. It would be funny to, like, watch them just, like, sit there for ten minutes and just go, Ha! Gut shot! I can finally start playing my enchantments! And we're like, in response, fiery cannon, kill your board. No more. No more enchantments. Or at least no more creatures for the enchantments. And then just start beating them with 4-4s four again. Uh, yeah. I like how this deck is going. I think I want fewer Arboreal Grazers, more Llanowar Scouts, maybe one Sakura Chibe Scout here, and uh, one more Chainers in the main, or actually one more Cast Down in the main. It'd be nice. 
they had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> they, they probably brought in uh, gut shots just to like, oh wait, no, they don't know that we, we go with white. What, on earth, what on earth did they bring in? I think maybe nothing? They brought in nothing? Oh, no, no, I don't want to see you. Oh, no, no, go away. Yeah, you can go away. Um, that reminds me, we have a word from our sponsor uh, about the tournament hey, coming up. Hey, do you want more MTG content? Great. I'm hosting a content creators tournament for just that reason. It's free, fun to watch, and gets a lot of content creators talking to each other about making more of it. While making more of it, if you have a favorite content creator besides me that you want to see more content from, tell them to join the tournament for free prizes. And there is a link in the description down below that you can send to them with all of the details that they will need. It's completely free once again and will hopefully encourage a little bit more growth in our community. Thank you for watching. Let's get back into that content. Oh, finally, back. I have to get some stuff ready before work. All right, all right. Um, okay, this is a little awkward again, but I do have natural uh, return to nature. Um, okay, I'll, I'll keep this. God, I just hope that they don't flood again because there's a huge temptation. The last time that I saw this card against Bobles, I saw they had one. Okay, they don't have the uh, sprawl this time. One urban sprawl. I'll keep um land. Okay. Oh boy, I I hope I get a playable card. Is this return to nature not going to be enough? Oh, please be enough. Come on, fiery cannonade. Get me a card that matters. Yeah, you can hit me for one all you want. But just you wait. One of these... Oh, I thought I accidentally uh, pressed two through my turn. <laughs> Thank God. Well... Here goes nothing. Turning this desert back to my hand. Oh god, I have to get rid of something. Um, I think it's going to be this desert. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of the desert. Got one desert. We still have a land that's untapped, so that's good. Okay, they're building up that enchantment account. That enchantment counts. Uh, I think we need to start thinking about holding up mana for a while for a return to nature. Because I feel like Ancestral Mask might come out of nowhere and kill me. Okay. So just one mana of any color is what they're holding up. Potentially Dispel is here. I'm going to remove that stuff on my upkeep. We will go ahead. Actually, we'll play uh, Desert. Play a Boral Grazer. Put a Grawl Turf into play. Too bad you're not a forest. So that's nice. We get to do it again. Um, and play Bonders Ornament. I think I'm going to tap both of these. Play Bonders. Have Bonders. Have two green available. One for a Boreal Grazer. No, one for... We'll have two green. We'll play the Desert. Uh, play a Boreal Grazer, then play... Oh, you're gonna fight me? You're gonna fight me? 
You have trample? Ouch. That hurts my feelings. Well, I'm going to have to let you get in. Actually, I'll play Desert, one tap one Grawl Turf, Bonders Ornament, uh, have three mana available. One will go into Boreal Grazer to return the Desert with the Grawl Turf. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, Bonders Ornament. Tap for Green. A Boreal Grazer. Grawl Turf. Return, <laughs> return to desert. Finally, all of our bounce lands are here. Everybody's at the party. They have three cards left in hand. There's a good chance that one of them is an action enchantment. Uh, one of the big spells that actually does stuff. What time is it? 2.37. I have to get up in literally seconds from now. My god. But this deck is sweet. <laughs> I love what's happening. Pain time? Question mark? Oh, it's pain time. I see. It's pain time. That's that's why. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, come on, fiery cannonade. Don't hold out on me now. Oh no 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 oh, no no Okay no attacks No attacks <laughs> That was close I'm actually very tempted to play this and threaten to block <laughs> kill it Uh I can also hold up uh crowd rotation Oh no, wait, no! Step is in my hand! Dear God! Oh, what have I done? I think I just killed myself <laughs> keeping this. Um. God, I might use Bonders Orbit to play this and hold up Shroud with it. Wait, target creature. You control gang Shroud. Darn it. <laughs> Oh yeah, it has hexproof. I can't even give it shroud if I wanted. I can't give it better. Uh, shroud. All right. We'll. I think this is the best play that we have. Don't you gut shot. I will make this happen. I will give this shroud. Just so fast. Shroud. As long as I don't have another action enchantment, I think we're good. Is it fine? Or do they kill us? <laughs> They're waiting. <laughs> They're nervous as much as we are. Uh, all right. Yeah, get scared. They got no more action enchantments. That is great. We dodged a bullet. And darn it, we... We stepped in it. Oh, we stepped in it. Um, I'm gonna use Bonders Ornament now try to draw a card on my main phase. And, and play it. Um, we'll use Step. Give you... I don't know, Pro Green for now. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, pass the turn. Okay, we've reached parity. <laughs> oh, okay. Out of action. Oh, yeah. Um... 
We'll play uh, another Bonders ornament. Turn this. That's the turn. <laughs> You're not gonna gut shot. Stop it. Stop threatening to gut shot me. <laughs> now we just look at each other <laughs> for a while until I draw a card that ruins their life. Or they draw a card that ruins my life. Oh, they found it. So what is it? Armadillo Cloak? Oh. What's, uh, what's four mana in both? Cave of Temptation. That's right. That's a card. They played Cave of Temptation. That's the line that they played. In front of my face. And I, I didn't even notice. Oh wait, no, they have ram through. They might they might ram through me. If they go to ram through, I do have protection against ram through. Faithless. Cool. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. We're gonna cave. This. <laughs> uh, we're gonna fade the sitting. I would like to check away this and this, and I think I really just want to play a standard bearer. You know, like a standard bearer is really good right now because it looks good, feels good. I have protection from everything. <laughs> right. Damn it. Damn it all. I'm out of time. Oh, God. It's a very intense game. Will I be late for work? Will... Will I win before I have to absolutely just leave? Oh, uh, I will block. I will 100% all the time block. Yeah, trade. You don't have first strike, right? Okay, cool. That's good. Oh, wait, they have so much damage on me. I forgot. Desperation swings. Oh. 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 Okay. Ah, these only block creatures with flying. This can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. All right, I see the... Uh... This is a mistake here. I'm going to use this now because Sorcery Speed Chainer is Edict. Desert. Well, desert. That's turn. God, if I attack with <laughs> this, would they be really willing to just like to trade this for this? I could move. No. Leave it. All right. No enchantment. They have Rancor, but they're choosing not to use it. Because of Standard Bearer. Right. Oh, God. I have a, I have a very short clock. I need a catch-up mechanic. Uh, cancel. 
I need a catch-up mechanic. I, I don't think that I have this without a uh, fiery cannonade. Or double chainers? Cave of Okay, yeah, that's not... That's not chainers. Um, oh yeah, I might just be dead. Right? Um, okay, I'm gonna flashback Faithless. Faithless. Okay, so nothing else matters uh, unless I can find a way to kill this. Uh, okay. I'm going to play cave. Tap you, tap you. Oh god, please, please. Oh no, no. The redraw. Draw me a card, please. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It hit me down to one. I should be getting in with this thing. Why am I not getting in with this? Haunted Fengraph. You're nice, but... Fortunately, you are not, uh, not enough. You are enough. You are enough. Oh, fiery cannonade. I'm at one. That's right. We'll pass the turn from here. Still have nature's return to nature. We found our way out. We can clean up from here. But unfortunately, I think I'm out of time. I just have to, like, physically leave. Alright. GG. I'm out of time. I got to go. I'll, I'll see what they play first. Oh, Slippery Bogle. Um, sure. Oh, you know, I should have followed up with another standard bear. Okay, cool. Alright, concede. I could have won this game. Oh, okay, that's it? Rancor, alright. Just show them that I had it. Had it. I had it. I'm gonna show off my cave, my cave invitations combo and my sweet, sweet rainbow deck, and then say goodbye. Ah, oh, God. All right. So the deck is fun. The deck is very cool. I think I just want more target removal in the deck and maybe go up some ladder scouts. Next time we will see that. Uh, until next time, I guess you guys just have to come in for a face touch, and, uh, see you later.